Live from the Heartland on WLUW 88.7 FM, and we have our third and final guest of the day, uh, a Mr. Lori Bell, a recording artist of Delmark Records. Um, Lori and his brothers are doing a tribute to his dad, Corey Bell, at Blues Fest next week. We just heard from the Delmark owners. Uh, I'm assuming that's probably on the same day. The uh, tribute to your dad, is that Friday of Blues Fest? The 8th, I think. Yeah, the 8th. The 8th. Okay, very good. Welcome. Welcome to Live from the Heartland, Lori. This is Live from the Heartland. How is everybody doing? Lori Bell speaking. <laughs> We're doing pretty well, thank you, sir. <laughs> thank All you right. kindly. Well, Lynn is uh, uh, our good friend and co-producer, uh, has brought us uh, many wonderful artists over the years to Live from the Heartland. Mm. And I see that you're already holding the axe, as it were. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you have something in mind you want to uh, take a look Yeah, I want to do the song time? by a uh, man that I, 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 I learned from most of my life. This man named was Charlotte C. West. He was a amazing singer and writer and piano player. Are you saying Charlie T. West or Charlie? Charlie C. C. West. All right. That's his name. All right. He made this song called Call Me on the Phone Sometime. I'm going to try it. Right on. Great to have you here. We saw you uh, a few years back over at Space and a few years before that over at the Heartland Cafe. And uh, you know, in the course of uh, getting ready for you this morning, uh, I was uh, I was really taken by how you played with a, a lot of interesting people. And uh, you came back, I think you were 19, you came back from Mississippi and played with your dad's band. I also saw that you had uh, played with Phil Spector, I think, and the what? Bluebirds. Dave, Dave Spector. Dave Spector. <laughs> a different Dave guy. Spector. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mother Spector. And then, uh, so you know, with Sons of the Blues or Billy Branch, uh, what do you got going on now? And you got, you know, you, you got, a, got a Grammy last year, so you kind of, you know, you were around for a while, then you disappeared, you came back. I got three Grammys. Wow. Get the record straight there, my I, I got, <laughs> it was fact, Dave, not Phil. Nominated. <laughs> not a, no, nominated. I, got, I got three Grammys that were nominated, two in Memphis. One in California uh -huh. for the BMAs. And, well, how uh, much fun was that to win last uh, year? That, 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 it hits me right in my heart. Right on. Because huh. I know I know people like who I grew up listening to as a musician. They dead and gone, but they, they, they would be proud of me for those Grammy Awards that I have uh, that I've achieved. achieved mm -hmm. You know and. Uh, you know, right now I'm I'm, I'm a, a blues man with a four-piece rhythm section. I got piano, bass, drums, and myself vocals, lead vocals, and lead guitar. Yeah. Yeah. 
And it's, it's the name of the band is called the Lurie Bell Blues Band right. from Chicago, Illinois. And, and you're going to be at the uh, Blues Fest next weekend with that band, is that yes, the case? Yes, ma'am. Well, yes. Well, well, not with that, not with, okay. with this band. I'll be at the Blues Festival with my brothers. I got three brothers that perform. We're doing a tribute to my dad, right. Mr. Kerry Bell Harris. Nice and work. Nice work. Did the unique uh, Chicago ownership, if you will, at, on the north end of the world, of blues and blues music, is a pretty proud tradition to be part of. Um, and how how does it feel for you to, you know, look at yet another, be here for yet another blues fest? I'm 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 I'm, I'm overjoyed. I'm, I just thank the Lord. Amen. That I am alive. Yeah. In I, order to perform at this upcoming blues festival in the As a lot of my friends say say these days, still above ground. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is there something about this particular about the lineup particularly this year that has you excited about performing again? I don't care who's playing, I just love the, the Chicago Blues <laughs> Festivals. Every year I look forward to it. Whoever's playing, a lot of times I don't know who they are, but they get down every year. And I've been on the Chicago Blues Festival for like, oh maybe about seven times, seven, eight times. I've, I've always played. been curious what the backstage stuff is like. Do you oh, get to jam or? Oh, we get to jam and, 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 and mingle with the crowd and with the uh, sound crew. It's and compare outfits? Yeah. <laughs> yeah you know, you know. I mean, the Chicago Blues Festival is one of the greatest blues festivals to me in the world. Amen to that. To be able to perform at the Chicago Blues Festival, it, it's an honor for me because you know, blues is 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 a part of my heritage and, and tradition, and uh, I'm proud to be able to be performing at the Blues Festival this year. Yeah, Larry, you were uh, billed as kind of the the future of the of the blues in Chicago, uh, a man who inherited the legacy, and then you fell on some hard times. Uh, which you talk about in that movie Mercurial Sun that Paul Marcus made. Right. And then. Uh, and then there's a gap where I didn't really follow you, but then I've seen you playing around. You seem to be doing well. Can you talk a little bit about uh, the early days and then the difficult times and how things are uh, today? I think he's asking for your life story. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I'll do the best I can. <laughs> well, you know, I, at one time I was doing a lot of touring. You know, I was going to Europe uh, almost every year, you know, and I was... Uh, I mean, every performance, you know, was good for me. When I was, I mean, back in the older days, sure. I, I could say when I in my late in my middle twenties, you know, mm -hmm. I was doing real good. I was, uh, I was making a name for myself as a blues man, youngster from Chicago, Illinois, and I got to working so much, and I was getting paid. You know, I had a lot of money, and I got to mingling with the wrong crowd out there on the south side, and 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 and. And for some reason, I don't know, the devil was in me and I got astray from uh, my uh, profession as a, as a blues artist, you know. So I had to quit playing in order to reconnect my thoughts. Mm -hmm. But at that time, I was doing stuff that I was supposed to, you know, I was messing around with this, this these people that, that's into, uh, you want to call it so-called drugs and what have you. And, and uh, for some reason, uh, 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 something uh, got to troubling me real bad. I couldn't think. I, I didn't want to continue on with my career at that particular time. So I stopped. I said, well, we already stopped for a couple of years, and I quit for a couple of years. Not everybody gets yeah. to do that and come but back. But when I quit for those two years, it made me stronger. You know, because I realized within those two years that I was a musician. I wasn't supposed to, 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 to go astray from that. Mm -hmm. See, at that time, you know, I was ripping and running and I was so happy I didn't think the value that I had as an artist, as a musician. You know, and it took me off a little bit, off on the dark road. But I'm glad I'm back, you know, the good law told me you know, everything is going That's to be all right. That's a pretty good description, I gotta say, uh, uh, Lurie Bell, about what it is to have some lost years and also to, in that 
in that way come back in contact with what's really valuable about yourself. Yes, ma'am. Because you, know, I, you do have to. Offer. Because that made me uh, uh, understand that I am a musician, but most important, I'm an artist, and people love music around the world, and they love your music. I, I, I was hoping so, sir. <laughs> So, um, were we supposed to go to a, me a lot? I got to ask you because I got this note from Lynn to do so. I'm asking you about Eddie Harrington. Yeah. I don't even know Eddie. Eddie Harrington. Clearwater. Eddie Clearwater oh, Harrington, Clearwater. the Chief oh, Clearwater. Please. That was <laughs> my father's second cousin. So I always looked up to him as my second cousin mm -hmm. on my dad's side. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm just you know uh, I know God. Uh, took Eddie, you know, uh, after I just found out the news. Yeah, yesterday. Today. And I'm deeply, you know, I just, Lord, take care of Mr. Eddie Clearwater. He's, you know, please. he's joining an awfully big band up there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I know Eddie would be proud of me for mentioning that. And I, and I know God has got Mr. Eddie Clearwater in a better place right now. That's right. Yeah. Are there uh, younger kids coming up that play in the blues that you think are worth noting? I mean, there was a time then that there weren't a lot of younger guys in these blues bands. You'd have an old front man and a bunch of white guys who are very good musicians playing. But I just wondered, you know, you were one of those younger people who came along and you're playing today. Are there, do you see young people out there playing the blues? People, the people we ought to watch? No well, one. well, uh, it's a lot of young, young of the young generation that's playing blues these days, but they haven't got, you know, on a professional level to make a career out of it and travel around the world like I do. Yeah, mm -hmm. I meet a lot of youngsters out there trying yeah. to uh, participate in the blues, but, but, but you know, if you want to be a successful musician, uh, you know, and, and you want to make it making an art and profession, you got to work at it. It ain't easy. And like Ringo said, you have to have the blues in order to sing. You got to be, you got to have the blues. Some, my dad told me I was born with the blues. I don't know how much, <laughs> how much that is to everyone or how much that is to me, but if he say so, but he could be, he, he, that's a good point. Maybe I was born with the blues because I love, I play the blues you know, it's not a day that I, I, I don't pick up my, my guitar. You know, we had, which, we had this uh, young fellow, Michael Damiani, on the show along mm -hmm. with Freddie Dixon. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with those guys? The yes, Chicago sir. Blues All-Stars. You guys ever play together? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Me and Freddie Dixon, Freddie Dixon was one of the Sons of Blues. Yeah. Back in the day when we first formed the SOB band, the Sons of Blues. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm don't wondering you? if you have another piece in you this morning. Pardon me? Do you have another little story oh, yeah. you could share with our audience? Okay. What will this be that we're uh, going to hear, Lori? Lori? Okay, this will be a song that uh, I, 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 I love. My father recorded it, and I met the artist, Mr. Eddie Boyd. He did a song called Five Long Years. I'm going to try this. Okay. Right. Okay, <laughs> yeah. try it. Here we go. And then you know what I'm talking about. If you've ever been mistreated, and then you know what I'm talking about. Then she had the nerve to put me out. I got a job in the steel mill. Oh, yeah. Chuck and steel. 
Just like a slave Five long years I had to go out and work But I made sure I run from home All of my pain If you ever been to see me And then you know what I'm talking about I worked five long years for one woman And then she had the nerve to put me out I finally learned my lesson Such a long time ago the next woman I married, people, oh, she's gonna have to work and bring home all of my dough. If you've ever been mistreated, and then you know what I'm talking about. I was five long years for one woman And then she had the nerve for all the child you know to put me out Such a long time ago The next woman I married people She going out to work and bring home all of my dough Who with this brothers, the blues guy okay. is releasing a new secret We're going out and we're going to say Thank you, Lori Bell, and thank you, Delmar Records. Everybody go to the tribute at Space and Everton Thursday night to Tony Clearwater. Show up for the Blues Fest. You know, I work fine. We want to thank you. We want to thank Charlie Larson. We want to thank my two co hosts. I need to thank you for that. Oh, that's so sweet, Lori Bell. Join us again next week. Good in the world, the world is all the good that you do too. All power to the people. Ha 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 ha!